Number one, time. Time, despite the desire to control it, is entirely non-existent in a vacuum of movement. Isolated, kinetic motion, chaos bonded in frenzy. From the static core to the stoic edge, raw emotion comprised of memories, discarded dreams, ambitions and intentions, the things to do tomorrow. Not forgotten though, fragmented, broken, nostalgic debris. Yesterdays are all truly gone. Today does not yet exist. Number two, fire. There is a fire burning not a flame of desire, rather visualize an etching into metal, an engraving literally demanding some deeply rooted meaning to the emptiness that burns an eternal flame desperately in need of light is the human spirit. Number three, ice. An ice cold labyrinth, frozen electrical impulses recognize, define, a connection so cold it burns like a laser light, a negative image transposed through a metal gaze. It is frozen now into a perfect reflection. Number four, space. In the space-time continuum, there is no need to define emotion. Just as there is no day moving night forward, it is always an eternal, endless movement and moment in stop yet repetitive motion, which after each repetition is redefined by some hypothesis, passion versus reason versus passion versus reason versus passion versus reason. Space is the place between the two points theorized upon where everything stops for a moment, including a breath or a heartbeat, then you feel it. You feel it really deep within your gut or your groin. It's the fight between the bile, the blood, and oxygen. Number five, elements. There is a fire burning deep inside each and every cell. It's feeding off the nutrients, consuming all the oxygen, starving the soul to keep up the motions. Oh, there is a fire burning in the vacuum of the space-time continuum, contrasting the chill, a penetrating freeze, defining the point of origin deep within the core, raw emotion tears out the lies, jagged from the nostalgic debris, black heart of pure truth, stained innocent offering, the perfume of narcissists, etched eternal as facets reveal a blurred distortion of facts. Yes, emotion does bleed heavily, out of the depth of dark crevices and cavities, emotion is burning. It's burning into a blinding view, into a once frozen labyrinth, burning like a wildfire through a drought dry forest. In the blink of an eye and a sudden stop breath, the ashes are all smoldering in time, lost now, as are the elements. Thank you.